All right, I have some ranting to do. I'm frustrated about people's understanding of inflation. The inflation rates over the last three months have been higher than expected, which has prompted the Fed to not lower rates. So what's happening is that um, rates are high, and specifically in my field, it keeps the mortgage interest rates high because the Fed funds rate is what the Fed controls and they keep that high. So the lending money is more expensive now because of inflation. They're trying to stop that. And in spite of all the increases that they've done, it hasn't been enough to slow inflation. I mean, it's slowed it down, but it's still persistent. And because it's persistent, we may not see rate decreases this year. And if we don't see rate decreases this year, we may have a lot of problems in the real estate market, specifically the commercial real estate market. So let me, let me I guess, expound. So as rates have been high each time, it's led the Fed to basically announce that they're not gonna have a interest rate drop of like a quarter percent. I mean, the last year and a half, or so as rates have gone up, most real estate agents were selling this concept, hey, don't worry, because you're gonna get this rate right now. We're gonna have the seller pay for your extra mortgage closing costs and buy you a lower interest rate. And there's like this two-step rate, which is like first year, you get two interest rates lower than what the actual rate is. So if the rate was six, you'd get like a 4% year one, 5% year two, then you would stay at a 6%. And that's like a, a two one buy down. Uh, and so a lot of people have gotten that because they really don't feel comfortable with the actual rate. And they were told that, hey, you know, the forecast is that, you know, in 2024, rates are gonna go down. And Fed was already talking about like six interest rate drops and, you know, almost like, getting everyone to believe that in a short time, we're all going to come back down to 3%, 2.5%, and everything would be amazing. But that's just wishful thinking and misguided as well, because rates are not at that, nor do I think they're going to go back to that low, low, you know, like heroin <laughs> level of interest rates. Rates are probably at best going to stay around 5 6%, but now they're more like 7.5%. And, you know, when, they, when this last report came out like a week and a half ago, I think the day that it came out, rates in the mortgage market shot up like a half percent in a day. So, man, I am lucky I wasn't in the position where I had a buyer at that very moment who was trying to lock their rate but I did have a buyer who was looking, who backed out of the market because of it. And there's a lot of people backing out because housing is just freaking expensive. High interest rates, high prices, everything's inflated. And you know, the commercial market's like basically gonna be screwed because they really, the valuation's based off cash flow. And the amount of cash flow you get, they call a capitalization rate or cap rate. So if you have a 5% cap rate, you're making about 5% on your money without a loan. But if your loan now is say 8%, that's a negative three. So your value has to go down a lot for the new buyer in order for them to cash flow. So the market's gonna see major problems there as loans come due because again unlike residential on 30-year loans commercial is like on three five ten years and they have to readjust so if your loan's coming due now and more than likely you had a very good interest rate you know your valuation is going to get hurt profitability is going to get hurt and a lot of these funds who you know in good times and bad times they invest they're going to realize that they are short and they got lots of problems 
Anyways, those are some of my concerns. I've kind of just been sitting here wishing everything would work itself out, but it's taking much longer. Kind of like, you know, the guy on the Titanic who's wondering if the ship's gonna sink. I mean, knowing that the damage has already been done, but you just don't see it yet, and it takes time for everything to manifest itself. I don't know if we're in that situation. I don't know if we can be bailed out, um, but I have a lot of concerns, and I'm sure you do too. So let me know what you're thinking. Um, that's kind of my rant for today. Hope someone enjoyed that, and it was beneficial. We'll see you next time.